The central banks around the world have committed to the destruction of the currencies. They are attempting to print money out of thin air and buying up assets. Investors not only have appeared to favor this, but have begged these central banks to do so. Sadly, the ignorant will never understand anything about what they have just allowed. The central banks are only there to dominate, and so they shall. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we are going to look at at the central banks I'm gonna show you the markets we are going to talk about the little guy as well let's begin by taking a look at this here we have a chart that I show you regularly this is some updated stats from double line funds the newest numbers coming as of March 11th 2019 when we compare the central bank balance sheets to the MSCI all country world index and lo and behold we see a complete correlation between the stock market and the central bank balance sheets they are looking here specifically at the Fed ECB BOJ the BOE of course these are the big four but you can look further if you wanted to include for example the PBOC the Swiss National Bank and so on all of these central banks are basically doing the exact same thing and their balance sheets correlate entirely with the world stock markets now we can see it being compared to the S&P 500 we could see it compared to the Wilshire 5000 but even when we look at it on the all-country world index it is so very clear what has happened over the years as central banks printed more money this has resulted in higher stock prices that's very clear to me I have made that my message if central banks are willing to devalue the currency into confetti the stocks can go higher Venezuela being the ultimate example of that and you can see what happened throughout 2018 central banks decided that they would begin the quantitative tightening and that resulted in the first down year in a long time you had stocks that were actually declining throughout this period and it happened to correlate exactly but nobody wants to pay attention to that well here at the money GPS I show you this I update you to give you exactly what you need to know out of Bloomberg, bulging balance sheets, the collective assets of the Fed, ECB, BOJ, and ECB are at historically high levels. And what we are seeing here is a comparison between the G4 balance sheets to the percentage of the GDP. And it looks like approximately 36% or so at this point. This has continued to increase over the years since the financial crisis. Nobody cares. It's all because the central banks are there to save the day. But I pose the the question are they helping or are they hurting and that's a long-term question because of course in the short term it is amazing I mean you have central banks printed up money they're buying up assets and of course if you ride the wave you get the benefit from that but do you not see a problem down into the future as a result of this well I'll leave that question up to you let's move on to this the ECB's chief economist actually said that negative interest rates are very good. Let's take a look at the quote and you can read it for yourself. Negative rates continue to be a powerful tool to reach our price stability objective. The side effects are outweighed by the positive effects on financing conditions for firms and households. So actually negative interest rates are good for households. How do you feel? about that how do you think that translates into real life I mean people actually believe this garbage it's as if he spits in your face and you say thank you nobody benefits from negative interest rates on the ground okay that doesn't work like that this is good for the elite they are the ones who get the benefit from this by borrowing money at these ridiculous rates and of course the average person doesn't get that ECB on their Twitter account okay this was a question that was asked to them so you can basically do the hashtag ask ECB where did you get the money for the Q E, ask ECB so some individual asked that question and they replied on their official Twitter I thought it was fake but I am currently showing you the official Twitter account of the ECB quote as a central bank we can create money to buy assets that's it well how safe 
Does that sound to you that you have this institution out there that can print money and buy assets? I mean, we've been seeing them do that. We know they can do that. But to see it written out in this Twitter format, it makes my head spin to see how ridiculous this is. You should not be able to do this. You can't just print up money and devalue the currency of the average individual to buy assets you choose. What if I had a mortgage and I wanted you to print up some money to pay that mortgage off. Oh, no, no, can't do that. But we can buy the corporate debt of our friends. Oh, we'll do that for sure. Oh, how about bailing out certain institutions? Oh, we have money for that. Well, but my mortgage, my car payments, my bills, no, no, you won't take care of that. You see where the money goes? It goes to their friends, not to the people. I'm not suggesting that they should be printing money at all. I don't even believe in the existence of these central banks. They shouldn't even be created in the first place, but that's besides the point. I I am simply talking about the fact that these central banks are destroying the currency and they manipulate everything along the way and only make these crises even worse. Global debt of corporations, governments, and households hit a fresh record of $178 trillion. Debt has risen by almost $60 trillion since the global financial crisis, meaning that economic rebound of the past decade, which brought global GDP increase of $20 trillion, has been bought at a high price. $3 of debt translated into $1 of growth. And there is an image here if you want to just see that for yourself. But think about it for a second. You have to create $3 dollars of debt in order to get one dollar of growth and these are all manipulated numbers anyway but take it for what it is that's how weak this system is unbelievable and i like the way it was worded out here in this twitter post if you had watched my post recently about Jerome Powell, about the Federal Reserve and their admissions about the extremely bad employment numbers in the United States, well, I also referenced Ben Bernanke previously, basically 10 years ago. He had a few things to say in his 60 Minutes interview that he did. And of course, there's a quote here from that that I need to show you. I believe it's very important. The 60 Minutes reporter asked Bernanke if the Fed Ed was printing money and his reply was, well, effectively, and we need to do that because our economy is very weak and inflation is very low. When the economy begins to recover, check this out, that will be the time that we need to unwind those programs, raise interest rates, reduce the money supply, and make sure that we have a recovery that does not involve inflation. Well, you got some of those, right? At least the inflation according to your garbage statistics but unfortunately those unwinding well it's gonna stop very soon apparently raising interest rates didn't really happen reducing the money supply not a chance well Bernanke you had a few good things in mind but of course that didn't turn out to be the case this is out of Bloomberg as well, and they're basically comparing the garbage core PCE index, which is what the Federal Reserve uses to measure inflation, which they can basically manipulate whenever they need to. It doesn't actually have any semblance of reality. So that's at about 2% right now, and as long as they're paying attention to that, it can remain 2% forever. They can just increase it as they see fit. All depends on what they decide. It's the creation of the Federal Reserve as far as I'm considered, because nobody in their right mind would actually actually pay attention to it otherwise. But then you have the New York Fed UIG index and it's coming from the Fed, okay? However, this index includes real estate prices. And when you do so, you see that inflation is not 2%, but it's 3%. And of course, real inflation a lot higher. But just by changing it slightly, even using the Fed's own numbers, now our inflation goes above that and the Federal Reserve isn't doing its job anymore. Suddenly things are looking too high hot, they should start to increase interest rates. But as long as they use this core PCE number, not going to happen. But ultimately, we need to be worried about the average individual because the bankers, the central bankers, the technocratic elite, they work together in concert to ensure that they stay powerful, more powerful than ever before. And every so often, they create these cycles intentionally, dry up liquidity, crash the system to ensure that they can become more powerful and make sure that other individuals out there who start to climb the ladder, they get knocked down. 78% of people, based on the survey from this, 
here. I'm pulling this data out of Forbes. 78% live paycheck to paycheck. Nearly one in 10 workers making $100,000 plus live paycheck to paycheck. And I've seen this myself where individuals, they end up getting a well-paying job, they buy the new car, they buy the new house, and now they're just as in debt as they were previously, except they have some nicer stuff around them. The debt-based system is designed to keep you in control. Individuals out there believe that they know what they're doing, but every so often, as I mentioned just a moment ago, they get knocked down the ladder, and this will not be any different, I assure you. If you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up. When you give a like on this video, you are supporting me. You are helping me to get higher up in the search rankings, so I do appreciate that very much. If you want the financial education you weren't taught in school, then these two books have everything that you need. If you want all the details, it's in the link in the description. Everything from the foundation history, the asset classes, making money, and so on. Check it out if you want the audiobook that's available at themoneygps.com. If you want to see that video with Jerome Powell, with Ben Bernanke, and the central banks, I talked about it right here on the screen. Just click that video, and I will see you there.